Hello YouTube viewers, hope everyone is doing well. This video is about how to enrich logs by using enrichers in Serilog. If you want to know how to implement Serilog in .NET, check the video Structured Logging Using Serilog in ASP.NET Core Web API, which I created a few weeks ago. I have put the link in the description. We will enrich the log by adding correlation ID. Now, why do we need correlation ID? In microservice-based applications, tracing a failed request or request analysis would be a bit complicated because each microservice run in an isolated way and the problem is that we might be unaware of request sequence or the chain of individual requests and where the request failed. To handle this situation, we generate and pass correlation ID in each request so that we can log information along with correlation ID. Due to this process, we can easily trace the logs and find the solution. To achieve this, we will use NuGet package serilog.enrichers.correlationid. Let me explain with the help of a diagram. In case of a single API or service, the user makes a request to service1 and the service1 returns a response. If service1 fails, an appropriate error code will be returned to the user and we can analyze the logs to find the root cause. In case of microservices, the user makes a request which goes to service 1, service 1 calls service 2, service 2 calls service 3. So internally, the request passes to different services to get the response to the end user. And at the same time, logs are also written and each service has their own logs. If any of the services goes down and fails to respond, the end response is an appropriate error code. Let's say if the request fails at service 2, an appropriate error code would be returned to the user as a response. Each service has their own logs, so it will be very difficult to find the issue with a particular request. If multiple requests came at the same time and few of them failed for some reason, tracing the logs would be very difficult because all services have their own logs and tracing the related calls in each service's log would be very difficult. To overcome this situation, we need some unique identification for each request passing through each service and that identification is correlation ID. The correlation ID will help us find the logs related to one single request in each service's log. I hope I was able to explain it properly. If it is not clear, please let me know in the comments section. So let's jump into the code and see what is needed to implement the correlation ID across uh, multiple services. So I already have Visual Studio open and I have two services, service one and service two, and in the packages section, uh, I have uh, installed uh, three packages, uh, serilog.asp.net core, uh, serilog.enrichers or correlation ID and file sync for uh, logging to the file. Uh, this one is very important for uh, passing the correlation ID. The same uh, packages I have uh, in the uh, service two as well. Uh, and then I have some code changes in the program.cs file where we are adding this line uh, builder.service.add HTTP context accessor and then we have uh, uh, I'm adding the HTTP client to the container uh, so that I can uh, get the instance of my client, HTTP client to make the request whenever I need via dependency injection and then this line here as well with correlation ID header and the custom header uh, there as well and here I'm logging to the log file uh, text file same code is in uh, service one as well. As you can see, this is HTTP contact accessor, then HTTP client into the uh, container dependency container so that I can get the instance and then this line here uh, with the custom header name. So let's run these and uh, test out our code. So as you can see, both of the services are up and running. And I'm going to make the call to one service, which is service one via Postman. So in the Postman here, so this is the header and this is the value I'm passing. So I have a method, get method in service one, which calls service two. I'll show the code at, uh, after we make the call here. Then request and it says service two call from service one. And now let's look at the log file and see uh, what is logged open the log for service one and look for correlation ID. 
as you can see correlation ids the correlation word is there and the id is there as well which is 2000 now let's open the log for the second api text file notepad and as you can see correlation id 2000 is there as well and these are the same requests uh, that was made through uh postman so service one was called via postman and service two was called through service one so let's we can do another test here just to double check and confirm that that does, actually does work so we can add another value here let's say 4000 and call the service one again and now we can check the code to see if the logs are uh, added uh, this correlation id is added into service one as you can see correlation id of 4000 and previous was 2000 and now let's open the other one the log file for the other other api slash service as you can see correlation id of 4000 here as well and 2000 for our different requests so that way we can pass correlation id when we are calling multiple services from another services and we can relate all the calls that were made through one single request uh, from the customer from the client so the code i'm using uh, to pass along the value via header is written in service one they look let's look inside the controller here so here what i'm doing is i'm calling service two from service one and passing along all the headers that are being passed uh, to the service one uh, to service two so headers, uh, uh, correlation ID is coming as a part of header in the service one, and then that he header is being passed to the service two. So if, uh, let's say, service two was calling service three, service two has to pass along those headers uh, to service three so that it can be logged. So this is how we can uh, pass along the uh, correlation ID, and this is how we can relate all the, all the requests being made. So if there was a thousand requests coming along, every a request uh, that that begins will have a correlation id a uh, unique correlation id and that unique correlation id can be passed along uh, to each service uh, via this method and this core uh, piece of code can be moved to a base class and every controller can inherit from that base class and so that way we don't have to repeat the code in every controller so that's all for this video i hope i was able to explain uh, it properly if not Please let me know in the uh, comment section and I will try to explain it further. I hope you like the video. I hope you find this video useful. If you find my videos useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Help me uh, grow this channel uh, so that I can create more useful videos like this and uh, pass along my knowledge. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in next video.